Outdoor education is a tradition at 12 Corners Middle School dating back over 40 years. Once again this year, students travel to the Rotary Sunshine Camp and Rush to spend some time learning skills in the great outdoors. The fun started as they loaded the buses at Fred's. So outdoor ed's going to be really fun and I can't wait because I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm really pumped. Yay outdoor ed! I'm looking forward to outdoor ed because I'm excited to do all the activities like fishing and archery. There are a lot of fun activities like archery, I'm really looking forward to it, you know. And that there's good food, I hope. You sleep over, you yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's like, cold apparently. Yeah. You like... Oh, you yeah. do archery, <laughs> you archery, archery and fishing. And fishing. you get really dirty. Yeah. yeah. I know that we're gonna get to go fishing and archery, away from the curb. Yeah, and get to play all sorts of different games. Um, archery, starting the fire, capture the flag. That you do a bunch of different activities. And you get to sleep in fun cabins. You get to learn how to start a fire and everything. Go fishing. <laughs> Hopefully not like anything boring. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I think if it even if it is boring, we'll find ways to make it magical. Fun. Fun. I know that the cabins are nice. Uh, I've heard. Oh, well, the Native American. I think they're like, yeah. They're I think really I think they're pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard that they fit 20 kids in them. That's a lot of people. I think just sleeping in a place that doesn't have my sister would be pretty nice. I'm looking forward to outdoor ed because it's fun to get away from everything you're used to. Um, this is all really new to me, so we really haven't done any of this kind of stuff before. On the buses, it was obvious that the kids were ready for an adventure. To go without cell phones. I've heard that it's really fun and you want to bring a lot of snacks because you get really hungry. You're supposed to have like a great time and you're supposed to do a lot outdoors no matter what. I'm looking forward to archery most. I'm really excited about outdoor ed because I get to hang out with my friends and do all these courses and stuff. And it'll just be really fun. I'm looking I'm looking forward most to the ropes course. I hope it's actually pretty cool. Um, somebody um, told me there's a game of catch the flag. Yeah, that sounds really fun. There's activities that you do like archery, arts and crafts. I know that we're going to get to our cabin and let everything down, finally. And I just really can't wait to see all the activities that we do. Yeah. I'm really excited. I'm excited and for the that. campfire at night. Yeah. And I was like, told that there was going to be roaming so chickens and yeah. we're excited yeah. to see you. Uh -huh. yeah. At the Sunshine Camp, archery was one of the most popular activities. I like the archery. Ryan got a bullseye, but she got it on the wrong one. Archery is awesome. And we did archery, which is also pretty good. It was cool when the teacher um, hit a bullseye in the far time. Many students had already fished before, but having a chance to cast out and catch a big fish was enticing. I'm really enjoying fishing, even though I haven't caught anything, but it's just fun to be outside. My family used to own a cottage at Bob's Lake, if you know where that is, and I've fished there since, like, I don't know, since as long as I can really remember. It's fun, I've caught a fish, and I could have caught a lot more if I was paying attention a little more, but it's still really fun. It's been cool. Um, there's a lot of there's different kinds of fish like turtles, there's bass, there's, and then you hook them with these little fish minnows. It was awesome. I didn't catch any fish. I, I 
had to. I caught five. At Arts and Crafts, making something to take home was fun, even if it was tough to remember what it was. Fire starting had its rewards. We collected sticks from the wood, the woods, and now we're trying to make a fire. Once it's really, the fire is really big, we get to um, boil water and then make it. Made six cups of hot chocolate. One of the most interesting things I did was um, well, so far is fire starter, where we made like a TV fire and we started it with a uh, steel flint and then we actually got to make hot chocolate, which I thought was really fun. And even though most of the paths are clearly marked, how to find your way in the woods was the lesson at orienteering. So what we're doing is we have these com compasses and. We have these. There's small, medium, yeah. large, and easy is like only like two, two questions. Two so questions. like heading 124, um, traveling 17, 17 paces. paces. Like so steps. One, One two, three. And then you go to medium to hard, and we're on hard right now, and that has seven questions. Now that we've mastered <laughs> orienteering, we'll never get lost <laughs> in the woods again. Armed only with cameras during the iSpy sessions, students set out to capture plants and animals around the Sunshine Camp campus. The first activity we did was scavenger hunt, and we're looking for living things. It's so much fun. Yeah. Take we did pictures. We got tons of pictures with the camera they let us use. We're trying to find um, different flowers and animals um, in iSpy. Yeah, with the camera. For some, the wildlife on campus was intriguing. The coolest thing I've seen so far was probably the alpaca. What? There's a or a llama, whatever it is. Llama? What? Where'd you get? Where'd you see that? We were on the trail in the forest that we saw. And there was like thing. it was like a tree viper. And it was like curled up in one of the branches. Although the ropes course suffered an unexpected setback. We broke the log on the ropes course. We broke the log in half, yeah. That was fun. The Challenger session was still swinging. The center of the log, it was broken, which was not on purpose. And you had to cross from one log to the other. Challenger is all about teamwork. So there are these seven stumps, and we start on one stump, and you swing to the other side, and you try and fit 11 people on it. And some of them are really wobbly and it's hard to stay on. Yeah, so it's all about teamwork. Yeah, yeah. About yes, it is. Yes, it is. The students learned techniques for working together during Project Adventure. Project Adventure is when you do really fun things with your friends that include working together. We had to bring a bucket that was in the middle of a rope that we couldn't go inside, like the rope. We had to figure out a way to get the bucket out of the rope. And then um, we had to pour the bucket of water that was in the middle into a new bucket that had nothing in it in the middle to um, 
until that one. Project Adventure is really cool because you get to like do a bunch of fun things with your friends. It's like these tasks that you do with people. Three, two, one. <laughs> we learned how to trust each other and work together because we did a trust. And you song. always have to listen. Yeah. There was time to eat. Uh, I'm looking forward to going fishing. What are you guys looking forward to? For? Lunch. A lunch. I'm starving. Lunches. We did a uh, rope tour, which was very fun. It was very challenging. We did fire starting, which was fun. Our group got boiling the fastest, even though we weren't the first to get to a boil. It was great. The lunch seems pretty good, so you're going to love it here. And the most fun thing that I've done is probably the fishing with Mr. Dennison. I caught four, and then we also did the archery, and that was really fun too, except I only hit the target once, so. And the food's great. I've done adventure. Fishing. Pride adventure. I built a fire. I spy. I also did arts and crafts, and I used a compass. We first went down to the archery range, and that was really cool, and then we went to the teamwork building um, adventure courses and the rope courses and that was full of like amazing challenges that the stumps, the canyons, it was crazy. It was fun too. We're having fun at ODE. ODE is great. And the overnight cabins turned out to be... The first time I walked into the cabins I thought, wow, this is not what I was expecting. They kind of stink. They stink, but they're good. They have lights. There's a bathroom with a shower. Um, they're really they're nice. There's no nice lighting, but they're really think. nice. Because there's like this couch connecting everything. It's really cool. I'm in Mohawk cabin. There's a lot of beds in there. They're all twin beds. And you get to sleep next to whoever you want. And I'm sleeping next to my two best friends. The cabins are great. The beds are really nice. And it's going to be a lot better with my sleeping bag on. It's air conditioned and heated, I'm assuming. The cabins have TVs, but we're not allowed to do it because it's outdoor education. When I say awesome, you say Overall, the time spent at outdoor education was enjoyed by everyone. It's fun. It's, really cool. it's, been, it's been really cool. It's really fun. It's so very fun. Awesome. Yeah, you have no I chance to take pictures it's whatsoever. Very, it's very independent. It's all the fun. Yes. Yes. It's all the fun. So, outdoor ed is cool. All good things. Ah. And it's really fun. You'll have a lot of fun. It's a blast. You have so much freedom. It's fun. Yeah. I feel like I'm on vacation. We get to do a lot of different activities and it's really fun. Outdoor Ed has been really fun because we have experienced a lot of stuff that we wouldn't experience in our own backyards. And we get to like try things that we probably wouldn't do like at home or like at our school or anything like that. Outdoor Ed is a lot of fun because we get to experience all different types of adventures with not just our family but our friends, our teachers and other people. Outdoor Ed is really fun and it's a great experience. And I oh. think it's really, really exciting. exciting. Outdoor Ed is cool. Uh, stuff happened. A lot of stuff Things happened. Things happened. Uh, we did stuff. We ate stuff. Go we're, do, we're going somewhere. When the buses arrived back at 12 Corners Middle School, the consensus was shared. It was really fun. After Ed was awesome because it was just really fun. It was super, super fun. It was awesome. really fun. It was really fun. Really, really fun. It was fun. Super fun for everybody. It, it was fun. I really liked the capture the flag and the tug of yeah. After Ed was awesome because capture the flag, the broke. space was really uh, I mean, big and it was really fun. After Ed was crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We went to our cabins and everybody was yelling, screaming, and all that stuff. 
So we didn't really get a lot of sleep. We were up until about 2 in the morning because we heard knocking on the walls all night and we were there was tears and stuff and my mom was sleeping over and she got very annoyed. So we stayed up all night, which is tiring. ODE was amazing in spite of being dragged dragged in the dirt by a rope, aiding two people by a nurse, and uh, nearly twisting my ankle after tripping through the underbrush. It was pretty great. Yeah, it was better than I expected. And do not doubt the food. It's really, really good. Okay, if you're afraid of worms, you don't want to do fishing. Because I did not do fishing because I was afraid of the worms. Also, the I Spy thing where we took pictures of the scavenger hunt was really fun too. Yeah, we didn't stop at things. Tree, we did lots of things. It was really fun. Yeah. ODE was great and my favorite thing was the ropes course because it was challenges and it was more teamwork than anything else I think. It was really, really awesome. We did tons of cool stuff. We learned all about teamwork. We worked together on everything we did and it was really fun. Um, we did yeah. like archery and arts and crafts and we made like necklaces and it was from like yarn and yeah. it was um, it was really fun. These are Kumi something. Kumi something. Kumi Hami or something like that. I forgot it. We for we, I forgot the name. I really had a lot of fun at Outdoor Ed. Odie was, was awesome. awesome. Outdoor Ed was phenomenal. Outdoor education was exciting. Outdoor Education is one of the students' favorite programs run by the Brighton Central School District. Yeah, I really recommend ODE. <laughs>